I wanted to show you two great tools that every vessel should have on board. This one's a fish guard, and this is a dehooking uh, tool. It has a 27 inch long handle. Uh, that's primarily for dehooking. You know, the fish guard is not only for sleeving and holding the fish, but also the the L bend there is a hooking dehooking device too. We're drift jigging in about 50 feet of water. I'm using a three-quarter ounce sonic bait fish in the fire tiger finish. Single hook, not adding anything, no scent, no tipping with bait. Casting ahead of my drift. Let it hit bottom. I'm using 20 pound braided line and 20 pound fluorocarbon leader with the terminal end attached with a snap. All right. Sonic baitfish is loaded with bait uh, with action, so no need to really do any hard jerking. As you can see, my lifts are pretty short. I'm fishing for grouper and snapper. Fishing with my good buddy Skip. Ah, there we are. Oops. On and off. Usually they'll come back. Up oh, there. <laughs> he came back and I still missed. It. There we are. Three times. That's a grouper. You can see we're not using meat rods. I'm using a uh, six foot heavy spinning rod. To keep a grouper, it has to be 20 inches. And this one's not 20. But at least it'll give you a chance to show you how the fish guard works. You notice when we bring the fish in, the gills are flared. And just leave the fish guard right like so and remove the hook and let the fish slide off. But let's just say I want to, this is the holding uh, portion of the fish guard. I want to show you the de-hooking portion too. This angle is where we place that at the hook and just shake it and that's it. Now this section here protects your hands from the teeth and what have you. And this is the part that sleeves the fish. Okay, the next one, I'll show you how the D-hooker works. Neat thing about the D-hooker, it has a wide V-shaped design. So if you're vision impaired, you can still get that right there where the hook is and easily remove the hook from the fish without touching any part of the fish. That not only protects the fish, but also protects your hands. Okay, there we go. Oops, on and off. Just make sure you're bouncing it against bottom. Sonic bait fish, all the paint lures have UV and fluorescent pigments in them. Fish can really see them, <clears throat> even in off-colored water. There we are. The lure has a lot of built-in action, so it's not necessary to overwork it. It closely resembles a injured or dying or crippled bait fish. Okay, another small grouper. All right, let's show you how the dehooker works now. Okay, we're gonna put this V notch right in there where the hook is. Like so, shake it, fish is gone. No damage done to either. 
Okay, hope you learned a little bit about the fish guard and the D hooker, and that's uh, carried by Max Lure. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you around the corner next time.